shredding. <laughs> G'day, welcome to Gaming Gaming Game. I'm Evan and I'm joined by Matt Stewart, Demi Lardner, hey. <laughs> and Dave Callan. <laughs> At ease. Well, the dust has well and truly settled after E3, the biggest event on the gaming calendar. And uh, looking back, some of the most exciting announcements came from Nintendo. Yes, I'm particularly excited about the Odyssey of the Super Mario. He is an Italian man dressed as a Mexican. <laughs> Made by a Japanese company. <laughs> That's inception level casual racism right off the bat. <laughs> and voiced by a, a, just an American guy, right? Yeah. Right. A mamma mia. <laughs> there's, um, there's a new Metroid game in the works uh, and, a, and a new Pokemon role playing game for Switch, mm. which sounds like it'd be fun. Yeah. They, like a I, sex role playing game? No. Good. Because uh, that would have been well, I mean, weirder. Been... Would you fuck mm. a Pikachu? Yes! <laughs> and I will like, not answer this you. again! <laughs> Which Pokemon would you fuck? Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> More cushion for the pushing. <laughs> and narcolepsy. I think I, I, think would, I, would, have, I would fuck a Mewtwo because it's the <clears throat> only one that can give consent. Oh! Why? Because it can talk with its brain. Mewtwo or Meowth. All the cat Pokemon you can fuck because they can give consent. Uh, okay. And what you a, can quote me on that. <laughs> That's an amazing sentence. You make sentence. eye contact with every camera. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool to have new games uh, being announced on the Switch, right? You're a Switch owner, Dave. I am. It's, it's cool, but I feel like with a lot of the new announcements, they're kind of taking a genre that exists and transplanting another IP or kind of intellectual property into that kind of genre. Is like, that IP or, or intellectual, intellectual property? property. <laughs> For mm. the layman. I wonder what the mm. IP mm. bit was. <laughs> I think you'll find. <laughs> it could have been internet protocol. Yeah. I just wanted to specify. So, like for example, Pokken. yeah, park and tournament, Pokken. right? It's just so, Pokemon and Tekken mushed together. Yeah, and you've got um, Fire Emblem Heroes or Warriors or something like that, which is taking the, the formula uh, of Dynasty Warriors and kind of putting a bit of a, a skin of Fire Emblem on top, which is the opposite of what Fire Emblem is. These games, the Warriors games, they're a hectic kind of hack and slash, millions of enemies, whereas, you know, Fire Emblem traditionally is, is more of a tactical turn-based kind of strategy game where you actually consider your moves before you go in. So making it a, a crazy bedlam hack and slash, I think is against the kind of, the nature of the initial kind of game. But they've announced a new turn-based strategy game, is that what you'd call it? Uh, Mario plus Rapids Kingdom yeah. Battle. That's another, everyone's just swapping, swapping genres. <laughs> yeah, so Rapids, I feel, and Mario, I was kind of a bit dark on it. I thought it's a really dumb idea. And then I saw how emotional, how proud <laughs> the game's developer got at E3 watching the trailer with everyone else. <laughs> Look at him, he lo he's so <laughs> proud. <laughs> he's like, I hope my mum's watching this. <laughs> So I felt bad for going. He looks embarrassed to, to me. Oh, maybe that's the case. <laughs> he's like, "What have I done?" Maybe he's coughing up his drink. <laughs> I'm not sure. Having said that, I think it looks like a good game. I do like Fire Emblem and and uh, XCOM, that sort of turn-based sort of thing. So it'll be fun and interesting to see what they do. I think it'll be like XCOM, uh, like Fire Emblem, but with a bit of a sense of humor, which is exciting. If I was going to smush two games together, I think I would do Skyrim and Pong. <laughs> uh, yeah? That'd be amazing. <laughs> what would that be like? Oh, I should mail that to myself. Bethesda, mitts off. Yeah, mitts off Bethesda. It'd be fun because you could just like drag and shout the ball at each other. <laughs> oh no, that little square's coming towards me slightly faster. That's what I'd yell mm -hmm. every Have you played time. Pong? Pong? No. Oh, big time. Yeah, that's the one where you pong it up and down. You pong to yourself and then you pong it back. Is that one? <laughs> <laughs> you pong it off. Yeah, yeah I've ponged. Yes. If I you're asking that. if I've ponged, then the answer is yes. I asked that thinking he's definitely going to have played that of all the answers. The probably. pong, yeah, because pong used to be this level in Captain Keen or Commander Keen on uh, PC. Oh, you yeah. could play yes. pong on there. So I played a lot of pong. <laughs> I ponged hard for uh, many a year. <laughs> You'd be a Commander Keen <clears throat> boy. No. I didn't play Commander Keen, no. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I like that we have snacks this week. Me too. 
I can't wait to choke live on air. We're not live. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare edit it out if I die. What if I do a lull <laughs> while you've got one in your mouth and then it, it goes like I can't that. see that And happening. then we have to Heimlich. <laughs> and I can punch your candle. Heimlich? No, it'll, I'll just be Kirby and I'll turn into a big cashew. Oh! What is Kirby? Anyone know what Kirby is? A vor enthusiast. A balloon? A Probably. What? Vor enthusiast. What is that? Those people that get off on being swallowed. Beck knows! I knew Beck would know! <laughs> vor. What? Look it up. Look it up. Do we have to? <laughs> no. Can we get an on-screen Vor? No, I think everybody <laughs> who's watching will know. Okay. I, I thought I was across the entire internet. I think internet. everybody who's not at the desk will know what I'm saying, right? I see you a know? few. You know. I see a few sniggering fa mm -hmm. faces. It's a balloon that eats things. Kind of. Kirby's it's a balloon Kirby. that eats things. I mm. thought he was like a scrotum with with shoes on the bottom. Scrot. Oh, know. like all scrotums. Yeah, some scrotums. Right. Yeah. Scrotty. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <Scrotty. laughs> that sounds. I am keen on that. Don't, I'd, I'd yeah. like to see that happen. A scrotum with shoes on the bottom. Yeah. It's happened. I'm gonna man. go get some mini shoes later on. <laughs> I don't want to kink shame, but that's weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> you want to stay on? You'd have to blue tap it on or something. No. Yeah. That's like the beauty of. Look, I don't want to go into it too much. <laughs> That's the beauty of scrotum skin. You can mush it into small shoes. That's one of the beauties. So, of one of the beauties. Skin. This show's gone off the rails <laughs> way already. <laughs> one of the big games that was announced uh, at E3 by Nintendo was Super Mario Odyssey, which we mentioned earlier, which is coming out for the Switch. Mm. Yeah. Super and Mario this looks Gook. like fun. There's a dinosaur. Yep. I like dino butthole. <coughs> Look at this dino, dino gooch. It looks like you should. Can you watch this with the goggles in, inside in of it? In virtual reality. Yeah, yeah. I actually it looks like you should. You, you, yeah, it looks like that. There's no VR for Switch. What gives? Yeah, or, or Xbox. We want to strap a Switch to our face. Well, you can just do that with some sticky tape. You could. Is this the first time Mario's hat has become a character I hate in it. the game? It's can so I say that I hate it so much? The hat has a name. Yes. It's called Cappy. And Cappy, you chuck Cappy onto different things, including a bob -omb, a bullet bill, you can chuck it onto a Wall Street businessman, a flipping fish, and you become that thing. You possess them, or you, you capture them. You That's capture like the, the technically correct not okay, I feel. And he's also a top hat sometimes. He Why? seems to, yeah. 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 Him and um, Wario, no, 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 um, Bowser seem to have like white tails and white top hats, like they're about to break into a Broadway number. Was that sombrero and poncho like a bit culturally insensitive? Oh, what am I asking? <laughs> it's fucking shit. Nintendo. Yeah, it's, it's Nintendo. Mario. It's Mario. It's Mario. It's Mario. Mama mia. And Yikes. you can so and, and and part of this one of the worlds you go into is New Donk City. Are you sure that's not a misprint and it's New Dank City <laughs> and they're rolling blunts? <laughs> <laughs> of the dankest shit. Am I allowed to say that? Oh, I can say that if you like. They get okay. mustaches as well when they get the hat on. Do you know that? Yeah, right. They get the Mario yeah, mustache. Yeah, because you, you become... You, you, can you can play the now. bullets. And the fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the bullets, the fish. I actually yeah. love... Ew, why was you his can, mouth on the ground? You can even throw your hat at a telegraph line and become electricity with a mustache. Right. What? Yeah. Cool. He became a New York taxi. Did you see that? He threw his hat onto a New York cab. That's a new, new donk. A uh, new donk. That's a new, a new donk cab. So new Donk it... City sounds like something out of a 90s hip hop movie. And they're called New Donkers. <laughs> new Donkers, are they? And the, and the tagline of New Donk City is the city that never leaps. Which I think doesn't really make sense. Lost in translation from the Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Still, you can throw your hat onto a T Rex. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pronounced Trex. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I didn't no know worries. That. Mario looks younger than he used to. Yeah. I don't like, it's creating an unrealistic standard for plumbers. <laughs> Does he, he's never plumbed in the game, has he? He goes yeah, down pipes. He goes pipes. down pipes. Goes down, yeah. I mean, in, that's, I don't know if you understand what plumbers do. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you ever seen or been a plumber? In, uh, have you ever seen a plumber? I've seen, I, my brother's a plumber. <laughs> Mario Brothers. And does he go, to, go down? He, well, yeah, sure. Occasionally he goes down pipes. In, uh... You've, oh no, Demi's become the frog. <laughs> Just making my point. <laughs> point well made, all right? Back off. <sighs> One of the original Mario games was uh, called Mario Brothers, and uh, Brothers abbreviated to Bros full stop, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I remember um, Bros, they were big. Back Mario Bros. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> why is there no Luigi in the, in the promo video? Luigi? Yeah. yeah, is he gone? Did he die? Is he normally in the Mario? No, he Super didn't. Mario? Your face says he didn't, or it's a horrible way for you to <laughs> find out that. He's definitely the Danny to Mario's Kylie Minogue. <laughs> what did you just do? Oh, my elbow's so bad. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Have a cashew. Oh, thank you. 
I'll hold it on there. <laughs> Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Do we have a doctor in the house? Where's the first aid? Dr. Mario. Oh, hey. Yeah, brought it that back was... to games. Oh, it hurts so bad. Uh, if you're a Switch owner, you've probably heard about ARMS, a new fighting game where you run around hitting each other with extendable arms. Demi, you've been playing this a lot. <laughs> oh, I love ARMS! <laughs> oh my god. I love arms so much. It's it's such a good game. I, what what, to, to, what 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 is it? Tell us right. I, I I played it briefly. Uh-huh. It seems really fun. Yeah. But it's, it, it's very different to other fighting games. It's very, that yeah, I've but I was gonna say I, I I've not always been that into fighting games. I really like like Soul Calibur and stuff, but only because of like the the, it's very, oh, the Voldo of it all. Um, but uh, it's a really different fighting game in that I guess it's way less immediate when your damage is taken and whatnot, you know, like another thing is just like, bow, 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 your health goes down in arms, you kind of plan out your moves, and then you have these big extendable arms that go like in game world, maybe like 50 metres or something, I guess. Yeah, right. You're punching and you can curve your arms and do different attacks and stuff, and you can try and fake them out, like be dashing and jumping and wait for them to block and then go and grab them and like chest bump them into the air mm. and it's really good and all of the different characters I think are really well thought out in their different moves and stuff like if you're um, bite and bark bark is just this little dog who's sitting there kind of just like punching when you're not and he's just like oh, I got this and sometimes he stands there and I get really offended when people punch my dog. I guess it's no, it's no good. But I did they that can... yesterday. I was playing against you. You and did. I, I was your dog. very upset. And then we played the game. Yeah. <laughs> so my favorite thing about bite and bark is that when you pick them, bite will be like bite and bark. And then sometimes when you pick him, he'll be like, hello, 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 because he's a police officer with oh, a okay. dog. Oh, but then some, he has a third thing that I don't know what he's saying, but to me it sounds like he's going, dick suck. Dick suck. <laughs> so that's my main thing that I like about him. Pretty sure um, that wouldn't get the Nintendo seal of approval. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, also, uh, there's this character Helix, which who everybody thinks is really gross and sucks, but I He's a love guy. him. He like never stops moving, and his weird butt is jiggling at a different tempo to the rest of his body. And like that's how I dance as well. Yeah, <laughs> his like his his arms are DNA strands because he was like the the first draft I think of like an arms competitor that they just right. made in a lab. Oh, can you explain like how this works? Because I'm wondering who these people are, Demi, who have just gone. Yeah, take my arms off surgically <laughs> and then stick some ribbons or chains or DNA strands on top. I think it's more of like a monkey's paw situation. They're like, I want to be a really good fighter. And they were like, noodle arms. <laughs> Get fucked. I really like Twin Tell because she just like, she looks so chill the whole time. She's very French, but she's just like always like standing like this with her arms crossed because her arms are her hair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's oh, just yes. like, mm, fuck you. She got the it's best so deal. Good. She yeah. got to keep her arms and I have think so. arms. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Min Moon, I think, is the is maybe the the best one to play as. She's very quick and yeah. she can do cool shit. You yeah. can choose different fists, right? Yeah, you get, you get different hands. Oh, at the start can you as get well. can you get ones that have fidget spinners on the end? <laughs> <laughs> Topical. Kind of. There's ones that are like circle boys that are the main arms that I use for like. Min Min and uh, Bite and Bark, they're just like circly things that are more like um, oh, yeah, old chakrams. mate's hat when he goes yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. reading apparently at, uh, uh, early on they were going to have them as like uh, existing Nintendo characters. Like oh. Yoshi and yeah, right. I'm glad and they did stuff. because I really like the characters they made for the game. I think they're really cool. Like they've all got kind of different personalities and silly things. Mm. I don't really like... Master Mummy. I like that he's got like bandage arms, but he's a bit shit. Yeah. He's big, big and, and slow, slow and, and like, yeah. I've got bandages. Yeah. But if you stand there and block, his, uh, there's another thing that I fucking hate. He, if you stand there and block, his health goes slowly back up. Oh, not one of those characters. One of those <laughs> characters. Billy Dave Cameron Leadneck Governor. Yuck. <laughs> you love Ninjago. 
I like ninja. Yeah, I've only played one character because uh, he's a ninja, and I'm like, mm. well, uh, that's enough. I've seen enough already. No is further that questions. Him? Is that him? Yeah. Your Honor, he's got great. He's, he's got, got the, the good chakrams going voice on. As well, yeah. He's also got a great dash. And yeah, his he kind dash of, he goes invisible, right? Yeah, he disappears mm. like a ninja should, and uh, <laughs> you can do sideways dashing and forwards dashing. He I has find, some of the coolest arms. Yeah. How do you feel about the motion controls? Because that's when it, when you started <laughs> up to begin with, it's you want to it wants you to have these two like this. It wants you to do like the thumbs this. up control, which I yeah. I never even tried it until yesterday, and, and you I actually like you you twist to move around, you do them yeah, towards yeah. each you other to block. Punch to punch. Mm. Dave likes it. I don't like it. I like playing with just the with yeah. the handy. You boys. hook. You can hook. But yeah, you can yeah. actually twist your punches in the air, which I really like. You I mean, can do that with this as well, though. Yeah, you do it with the with the analog stick. Yeah, once you've punched, you direct it. It's interesting because I've never been a motion control fan, but when I saw hold it in the thumbs up position, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and so you hold it like this. It's a positive attitude. I think it's great that we like different play styles there because I really like this because you, you got the dash here, you got the jump here, yeah. and then you press these two together to do your super flurry move yeah, yeah, yeah. when your yellow thing is charged up. Yeah. And then uh, and then you're doing that way to, to strafe, yeah. and you're doing that way to grab, yeah. and that way to move backwards. And, and then so cross, on. To cross to block. That's right, cross to block. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think Which it's super intuitive mm. and it feels good. I like that the Joy-Cons glow in the dark. Guys. I like them too, it's, it's really cool. Um, the nice colours and the this yeah, is yeah. good for my hands as well because the pro controller I think is a little bit bigger, which I think a lot of people like because they have bigger hands than I do. But this hmm. oh, is yeah. perfect for, for little Drimbo. You know they're bringing oh. back the big Xbox. So this is totally off topic. <laughs> 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 Sorry, this came up. This came up in E3. They're bringing back the original like big bulky Xbox original oh, controller. They call that one the Duke. For some reason. Yeah. yeah, that big unwieldy it's Xbox One trash. controller. I yeah. remember like when I that came that out, one. comparing it to the PS2 controller, just yeah. like, why is it so big? Yeah, it was I got, real weird. I got big monkey hands, so I'm gonna be happy to have one of those <laughs> bad boys <laughs> once again <laughs> in my grips. <laughs> in my I had to paws. like when I was playing like San Andreas and stuff on them, I had to like Clang press San Andreas. <laughs> oh thank you. <laughs> I had to like to like, you know, press the white button and then run across the room to press X. <laughs> Racist. Like, <laughs> What? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, how do you make this color? Look at this color. This is the most brightest. This is not of Earth. This, this color is not of Earth. New they yellows. reverse engineered this color in Area 51. Look at mm -hmm. this crazy color. Yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> See, oh straps are on the wrist. That's good. It didn't hurt that time. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Last week he punched a candle. He hit the candle. He, he wasn't meant to. You weren't meant to hit the candle, candle. Well, I'm not a candle, so you can just leave me alone. Oh, okay? I only punch candles. If I went to <laughs> if I went to a fancy dress party and you were dressed as Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast, you'd be you'd, you'd bash it. the fuck out of me. And I would not feel bad. But I wouldn't dress as Lumiere. I would dress as Codsworth because I like to complain about every fucking wah, thing. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, I'm a fucking but, clock. But you're not complaining about arms. No, I love arms, Dave. And thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> Did you like arms, Matt? Yes. Yeah. It was fun, colourful, right? Very colourful. Well, not it's as colourful, colourful as this, but yeah. 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 It like, looks like a kid's game, is right? Is Nintendo like the most of the colourful ones? Yes. I They're think. always hyper-coloured. Good, but it's oh, this is a hair lady. I like that too. And she too. just drinks tea while her hair punches people. That's yeah, sick. Because she's different. French. <laughs> and that's what uh, the French, French do. They drink tea. They're more into coffee, really, aren't they? Well, French I don't people. know. She's just like, but, well, we don't know it's not coffee. No. What do you think about the French, man? The French, yeah, I think they're great. I think um, I think you know. Sure, they they cowered it out of a few conflicts, but I mean, in the end, you know, it's not all about war and, and killing people, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> it is in arms. Unless, unless, yeah, unless you're playing Gwent. Oh, I thought that we were playing Witcher. Gwent. <laughs> so arms is out now. Yep. On mm. Switch, it's worth checking out. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Go buy arms, it's everybody. Open now. Sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> Way, oh, he's put me to sleep. <laughs> by the way, Danny, what did you think of ARMS? I don't think we got a clear sort of answer. That was fine. Oh. Cool. Um, so, <laughs> that's, that's it for the show. Uh, we'll be back again next week. Uh, <laughs> look, wait, look, you look unsure about it. We'll be back again <laughs> next week. We'll see. Um, look so at the desk, Evan. You've committed to, to at least four episodes. We've committed to the desk. <laughs> we have. <laughs> uh, so, b bye now. <laughs> <laughs> bye now. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you. This is so I'm fun. Like I like the bit where we talked about games. Oh, I like that bit. That was a good.